Okay, so today I'm going to do a quick little run through making some tilted holes in a shape. Um, so, first thing I'm going to do is create a sketch. I know you can do this other ways. I'm going to do it with a sketch because that's easy for me. We'll just zoom in on that. And uh, I'm going to stop sketch. Let's rotate this a little bit around. And then we're going to lift that up 20 millimeters. And let me bring this back in so you can see it. Okay, so we've gotten that. And I'm going to go ahead and fill at the bottom with a Let's make it a three millimeter radius and the top with, let's say, an eight millimeter. Let's make it six. In case we need the room, we can always change that later. So here's our basic shape. Now, the issue is that <clears throat> we want to make uh, holes in here that are at about a 10 to 15 degree downward slope. So the best way to do that is to use a set of offset planes. So I'm going to go under construct and build an offset plane and I'm going to offset it from the base and I'm going to pull it up say uh, 8 millimeters because we're going to need some room. We may have to make this whole piece bigger. So I've created an offset plane. That seems fine and dandy. So now what I'm going to do is hide the original body that we've got. I'm going to go create a sketch on that plane. And since the origin is basically the center of everything for us, I'm just going to draw a line starting from the origin and going straight up this way and another one starting at the origin and going straight out this way. It doesn't really matter which direction we go as long as those are perpendicular. So we'll stop the sketch and you'll see that those are offset upwards because they're on that plane. Which is hidden now. You can see the planes there. So now we need an, a, a plane at angle. So I'm going to select this line and then I'm going to rotate it 15, eh. it needs to go not 15, but 75 degrees. There. You can see now that that's at a 15 degree angle from vertical. I'm going to go ahead and uh, we can come back and do this separately for each one. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to now create a new sketch on this plane. I want to make sure I select it from the downhill side. Um, there. Here's our origin over here. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a circle starting from the origin and I'm going to make that 10.1 millimeters across as if we're using that sort of a rod to stick into this piece. I'll go ahead and stop the sketch and now I can go ahead and say extrude. It wants to go, we want to go the other way, so we'll put a negative value in there. Um, let me just show the, uh, those again. And I'm going to say to object and pull it this way. Uh, sorry, and say all. And that is at a 15 degree tilt. I go ahead and say OK. Show the bodies, and it for some reason didn't do it. Let me just do that again with the extrude. Um, pull it this way, and we'll say all. Oh, I probably hit cancel, I do that occasionally. Say okay, and now we've got that at a 15 degree tilt. That's pretty sharp, I'm gonna change that to 10 degrees. And the way I do that is I can go back to this and instead of 75, I can say 80. 
because it's 90 minus this is the actual angle we're getting. And so now you can see that that's a shallower angle. But just to make sure that we're getting this just right, I'm going to then go back and move that up. I'll go to my offset plane, which I can do here, right here. And let's just uh, lift this to 10 millimeters. And now we can see that we've moved that up. Now there's a little thing about this. You're going to end up with a weird little shape in the middle of this. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go back to that extrude that created that. Um, and I'm going to make that two sides. And one goes to all and the other goes, I'm going to make that three millimeters. And now it'll just stick a little further into the into the block, which you can't really see right now. Now I've done that for one of them. Now I'm going to run through it really quick to do it for another one of those things. We're going to just subtract, uh, hide that body. Um, we're going to create a plane at an angle. We're going to choose this one. We'll pull it around this way. So that has to go 100 degrees, you can also, um, because that'll give us 10 past, and you'll be going the other direction for another one. There's that plane at angle. We will create a sketch on that plane, and we're going to create a circle at the origin that is 10.1 millimeters. That gives us enough clearance to actually slide something in. Stop sketch. Extrude. Select that. Reactivate the body, distance, all, and then we can switch that to two sides, and the undone one we can do three millimeters. Make sure that cut is selected for the operation type. So now you can see that we've oddly got two of those in there, and you can select those same lines and just rotate in the other direction to create your other ones. And I'll, I'll show you what that looks like in uh, Wireframe. And you can see that they're different sizes, largely because they were done in different orders. Um, and it looks like, actually, we should have had a negative 3 on that first one. And I will go and change that. That's why the Wireframe view is so useful. And I'll just hit negative 3. And now everything should look the same. I'll go back into our regular, uh, there we go, with, there it is. And that is how you do those offset angles.